Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Recently I have seen that Salesforce is hiring a lot for the technical support engineer role or we can also say customer support engineer role and a lot of people are preparing for this role. So I thought that let's create a video for this. One of my re students recently gave interview for this role and has shared questions with me. So the aim here is to make you aware about the type of questions they are asking and to make you understand the overall complexity of this interview of course the questions will vary person to person and interviewer to interviewer so do not try to focus on the exact question but try to understand the template of the interview and then based on that try to prepare yourself for that okay there were two rounds first was the technical round second one was the techno managerial round in this uh, short video will be talking about the technical interview round and i will create a separate video for techno manager down so after the first introduction part of the candidate they started with what is the null pointer exception the expectation here was to explain what is the null pointer exception and how did you solve that problem so null pointer exception we get whenever we try to refer something which or whose value is null so let's say if you are in a contact object and we are trying to access a value of account object or value from the account reference but account reference is null itself then we might get the null pointer exception how do we debug is that we'll try to see if there is any reference or what is the value we are or the line where we are getting the null pointer exception and then we'll try to see if uh, the variable which we are using has a value on it or not so we will try to debug it that way then interviewer asked what are the different types of collection variables available in salesforce so we have list set and map and there could be further questions on the difference between list and set difference between map and list and set and when to use which one i hope you'll be able to prepare that then there was a question on what is the difference between synchronous transaction versus asynchronous transaction when shall we use asynchronous what is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous and uh, interviewer was just trying to understand whether you have worked in asynchronous apex or not and if you have worked on it then different types of asynchronous options available within salesforce ecosystem the logical answer will be that we have four options future method queuable schedulable apex and batch apex but you can also add the platform events and change data capture as they also work in the asynchronous context and provides you a lot of functionality and flexibility and if you say platform event and change data capture change data capture then be ready for a couple of cross questions as well but obviously it will increase your chances as this is the latest topic okay uh, then interviewer asked candidate to write the syntax of batch epics he just wanted to understand whether he'll be he's comfortable with the all uh, the terminology of the batch epics and what kind of interface he needs to implement and which method is doing what all right and uh, then was a question about different types of interfaces available in apex and this was not only related to the asynchronous uh, now you can say the future method uh, or you can say queuable or batchable uh, context but also other interfaces are available like database.allow callouts and all and couple of cross questions on explaining whichever interface you were telling uh, then in every almost every salesforce technical uh, support engineer role interview there will be a question on SOCL query and this time interviewer asked to fetch the related contacts and cases from the account but do expect couple of questions on soql query especially especially from the aggregate query part where we ask a lot of questions from the candidate then there was a trigger to update the half of the records in account by the status to activate it based on some criteria you needed to update half of the accounts and you need to change the uh, status to activate it and he was not expecting you to write the whole trigger but wanted to understand whether you are able to uh, explain the logic part of it or not uh, there was again a trigger to insert the contact with account name in it so you are inserting a new contact the, there should be um, the contact name should have the account name appended with it that was a easy trigger scenario then there were few questions on lightning web components like what are the different life cycle hooks why we need rendered callback and then there was a question on lightning data services when to use and um, there was a practical example on um, 
how to use the record form it was a practical scenario based question and interviewer was expecting candidate to answer it by using the record form then difference between record edit form record view form and record form and uh, then there was a question about how do we communicate between the unrelated lightning web components and what tools you will use to communicate and then at the end it was about flows what are the different types of flows we have is there any latest flow salesforce has launched and couple of design pattern related question on flows like how will you create multiple flows whether you should go for multiple flows or you should create one flow per object what is your opinion on that so this is uh, these were the technical questions and then there was a second round for the managerial round i will create a separate video for that if you want to know how this role is and whether you should work on it or not i will also uh, attach my other video which i have created for this role only but i i hope by these type of questions you'll be able to understand the overall difficulty level of this interview and then based on that you will prepare yourself so i hope this will help you uh, feel free to ask me questions on linkedin if you have any questions related to this video or any other video and i'll be more than happy to help you thank you everyone thank you for watching